How's it going, guys? It's Mr. Lone Wolf, and uh, today it's kind of. Well, I'm going to go and do a mission called Fuel Order. It was kind of 90% disasters, 10% <laughs> mission. It was just an excuse to go bombing around, really. Um, yeah, first things first, Happy New Year. I'll be honest, I forgot <laughs> yesterday it was even the last day of the year. I only sort of realised about three hours before New Year that that's it. 2020 has been done and gone. Um, yeah, today I'm going to be taking out the Tatran. Uh, like the JBE modded version. I kind of been wanting an excuse to just go driving around with it. I've been playing around on uh, the proving grounds with it, but yeah, I prefer playing on these maps and uh, sort of wanted an excuse to go and take it out. Of course, I'm bringing a goddamn professional with me. Well, you'll see. It comes in handy. When doesn't he? Um, yeah, I've got to go to the uh, quarry, grab. There's a trailer already there, although I have rolled it previously. <laughs> who, who knows how that happened? Um, and then, yeah, I've got to take it like up to near the Drummond Island entrance. I was originally going to cut across the mountains, but you'll see. Things go slightly awry. Go for a little bit of ditch surfing. Handled it like a beast. And, yeah, I mean, this Tatrin, I really do like it in this setup. It certainly makes up for pretty much everything that was lacking from the Tatrin. There is one issue that I'll get to. That's not really because of the uh, modded version. It's like more of a characteristic. It's carried over. From the Tatran, and uh, yeah, kind of catches me out a little bit in this mission. That little bit of mud there, crossing the road, there's not really any depth to it or anything. But it doesn't matter what you've got, how fast you're going, it just seems to slow you down. So first thing, I've left a trailer here from who knows when. <laughs> Some previous time, wasn't really paying attention. Fortunately, Tatran and a loaf got their own key, and they're in. Like just having a good old time. Pretty nice views. <laughs> Crashing into the wall. Yeah, the steering can be a little bit squirrely on this. I'd partly say it's me, partly... Well, it's because it's rear wheel steer as well. If I'm honest, when you're going off-roading and stuff with it, it isn't really ever an issue because you just kind of get seated by whichever way you're driving off-road and you start sinking in the terrain and that kind of by proxy sort of locks your wheels into a whichever way you're going uh, yeah once you're driving uh, like along the roads and it's not bad I certainly got more used to it but yeah like fine-tuning the steering to where you just want to adjust it a little bit can uh yeah you gotta be pretty precise with it because like I say just a split second too much and it'll suddenly kind of fling over and because it like as it jiggles back and forth on its suspension, as you put more weight on the front, obviously the steering grips in more. Um, yeah, I cut now because I originally drove there. This was the first attempt, and that the only reason I drove back in the end, I was in the middle of making something to eat and stuff. The footage was a bit long. I just knew in the end it'd be quicker to drive back <laughs> than it would be to edit it. But this was the first attempt. Went for a uh, yeah, bit of a shortcut. <laughs> it didn't go too well. So of course, sending the goddamn professional. Certainly didn't have to recover because the uh, the horse of the vehicle wasn't up to the job. Send him flying off the cliff. That was just a glitch, not an edit. Landed so perfectly, actually stayed on the roof right, which is pretty goddamn rare. However, takes more than that to keep a good old horse down. However, this I have to say is uh, on my second playthrough, and it's not like it's not full fat loaf. It's like loaf light. However, to yeet himself off the cliff. To get the job done. It's a yeet loaf. Um, yeah, well, I was trying to pull this thing over and it was having none of it. It just didn't quite have the uh, enough there, so. See? I've got that horse over there, can always figure his way out, flew off the cliff, wedged myself behind these rocks. And we'll get it recovered one way or another. You can just see from the amount of time that's passed, it's gone pretty dark and that now. I was, uh, yeah, messing around doing other things, so. Just in case, you think, well, the loaf's stuck down there by himself now. That's not the case. I was just trying to work out. Got my winch tentacles stuck in the Tatran. <laughs> Sounds like something she'd say. And uh, yeah, I'm just figuring out how to mind control it. And we're back. We're back in business. See? That's one of the many reasons you get yourself a goddamn horse of a vehicle. He's ready to go. So anyway, this was back to the, uh, yeah, when I actually just drove down here. The one I left in, of course, couldn't resist. We had to go for another. Another risk. 
I can't remember if I left it in a video or not. I jumped down there ages ago in like a stock normal Tatran. And uh, yeah, stuck the nose in the floor and it just, that was it. <laughs> I was kind of stuck vertically. Just kind of smashing into the floor but not really going anywhere. And yeah, almost got down there. The other day when I came down here, which all is the reason why the trailer is rolled, <laughs> I actually flew off all of those bits and landed down here very nicely. Hence why I wanted to attempt it again. However, the other day when I then started moving the trailer, I rolled the trailer, kind of got bored anyway. <laughs> I wanted to go and test some other mods. So, uh, yeah, I abandoned abandoned mission for a bit. And as for tonight, I just, to be honest, I don't know if anyone else does this since uh, having mods. It's a bit like I do when you go on Netflix or something. I just want to put something on or I just want to play with a mod. And I end up spending an hour flicking through all the different mods thinking, well, do I want to take that one or do I want to take that one or do I want to do this map or that one or whatever. And uh, yeah, next thing you know, like an hour's passed. And I'm still there. Same as, like I said, on Netflix. <laughs> Go to choose a film. And yeah, an hour later, I'm like, God damn it. If I just chose that film an hour ago, I'd be an hour into it by now. I'm in a good old time. So uh, anyway, yeah, recovered the trailer. There's the original cargo that it lets you have. It's already on the trailer. But I'm going to go to the... Uh, just here, fortunately. We'll grab a few more. Yeah, you can see as I'm turning there, it starts to show you a bit of it. Like, that's really the only thing with this Tatrin. Like I say, it's nothing to do with the JB modded version. It's just a characteristic of the Tatrin. Because you've got every wheel that's moving, it's kind of sliding around a lot, and especially when you're towing a trailer. Um, it kind of, like... As you get resistance from the trailer, it'll kind of skid your back end round to sort of line back up with the trailer and all sorts, and it can be a bit iffy. Uh, the only time I really towed a trailer mainly with the Tatrin, I've towed other vehicles and stuff, but ages ago I tried to tow a trailer like this to a destination. It was doing the same thing with the steering. You can see I was driving up there, just lunged off to the right on that. Um, yeah, when I finally got there, because I couldn't actually attach the trailer to the Tatrin, I couldn't, like, cash the cargo in anyway. So, I kind of don't do a whole lot of that, but, yeah, to, this thing to pull other trucks out of, like, swampy areas and that is uh, very good. But, yeah, like I say, because it's just got wheels all across it, and they're all spinning, it's kind of skidding around, like, there's no fixed point. If you've got normal trucks that, like, the back axles don't move and the front ones do, it's kind of like, imagine holding a pendulum out, but horizontally. Yeah, you've got, like, a fixed point at the back and the front steering around, but... With this thing, especially as it's wheel spinning, it's just kind of skidding and skating all over the place, which, like I said, is more of a characteristic of just attaching itself with uh, the fact that all the wheels are just going mad. But yeah, it's still cool that you can actually have a trailer. It's nice that the option's there. I'm still not keen on this ramped flatbed, but that's uh, that's a separate issue. <laughs> that's not Tatrin's fault. So anyway, got up here, got stuck on the middle hill, winched to a tree. It was all going well. And then, uh, yeah, went to steer, didn't really do a whole lot of that. Again, as it was trying to pull the trailer straight, it was also kind of pulling my front end back round, so I wasn't steering a whole lot. Caught on the tree. God damn it. Now you're on the list tree. A great start to 2021. <laughs> a mission trolling the crap out of me. So, uh, yeah. Thought I was nearly out. Thought I was home free, but not to happen, so I had to send her back in. Patience levels slightly reduced. <laughs> I didn't get too crazy on this one, to be fair. Well, Depends on your definition. Tried to wear the trailer like a hat <laughs> at this point. I thought then it was going to try and pull me over sideways like, Jesus Christ, this mission really wants to uh, make me work for it. It was pretty cool bringing this though. And like I say, the, the only things I originally didn't like really about the Tatrim was it was pretty bloody slow and there's no way around that. And uh, the lack of t t the tyre options were... Not that great. And yeah, the turning circle is a bit iffy, but this thing's fixed. Well, certainly the tyre options, the uh, turning circle is much better. Yeah, and with the JBE gearbox, nine gears, it, I like that, to be honest. It's a, uh, yeah. It's a nice amount of gears. But more importantly, top end. Like, when I was driving down here from the uh, garage to the quarry, it wasn't horrifically slow. I wasn't getting bored. It's a pretty nice pace. So uh, anyway, grab some cargo containers. Going to go back now. I thought, right, I'll go for this middle bit. If it's smoother, should go up there a bit easier. <laughs> That's definitely what she said. So, uh, yeah, I thought, right, we'll go this way. I won't get the trailer hooked on anything. But about now, I was kind of like, oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to have to turn left or right to go up the next slope, and then the trailer might tip. However, I fancied my chances. 
winch to a tree, super winch. About now, I was like, oh no. <laughs> so Tatran's tipping quite a lot to the right, so... I actually thought it would just be a dick already now and just disconnect the uh, cargo containers, but yeah, it didn't. So uh, right about now, I was feeling pretty good. Pretty happy with the situation, that kind of made up for clipping that tree and rolling. And uh, up to now, this was not a bad choice to come and retrieve these, because it's got a lot of power, it I mean, flew into the quarry, no issues. Can yoink this thing back out of there pretty easily. And uh, yeah, back out, pick up the goddamn professional, and I'm away. And like I say, originally, I mean, you could snake all the way up the road to the uh, warehouse near the top. I kind of wanted to take a shortcut across the mountains, and you'll see why that ended up being a terrible, terrible idea. Well, one good thing, if you're towing a loaf behind you with this sort of trailer, when you've got something towing behind, it's kind of like the tension of that winch and the weight of dragging something behind it. it can keep this trailer a little bit straighter and stop it flipping as easily sometimes. That's not the only reason, obviously, I always bring a goddamn horse or a vehicle with me. Uh, yeah, start going up here. And you might be able to tell from the wheels, but this thing's steering left and right. Like I haven't really got a whole lot of say in it. Like there, for example, I was steering uh, left, if anything. I certainly wasn't putting any right-hand steering. Yeah, it just scooted over to the right, clipped this tree. Already like, oh my god, here we go. <laughs> staring at it like, god damn you. So, uh, yeah, got a bandit, sent that in. The bandit was just horrific, kept trying to tip over, hence why I just threw the cargo containers on. Got that done. Uh, yeah, retrieve me loaf. And then what? Oh, say what now? Gandalf the bandit starts being a dick for no reason. Of course, look, he's still alive. You see him in the background, still writhing around in pain. Can you ever tell a professional where he can and cannot pass? He goes where he likes. Um, yeah, eventually got everything set back up, but as you can see, started to go up the hill. Scooting over to the right. It involved a lot of trying to roll back down the hill. For some reason, it was like a magnet for these trees. And yeah, like I said, it was largely the trailer. It's not like the necessarily the Tatran itself. It'd certainly be a hell of a lot better if I didn't have this trailer towing behind me. I probably should have just took something with a fifth wheel in the end, because the semi-trailer would have done a lot better. Got to about here. Had to earn every inch. <laughs> yeah, that's what she said. And uh, yeah, I was like, oh no, don't do it to me again. Oh, line. Goddamn time. Wasting sons of bitches. Sons of bitches! So yeah, <laughs> then that happened. Like, God damn it. Go and get uh, Gandalf the bandit then. We'll bring the crane in. And then. Well, what the hell are you doing? Gandalf the bandit, he's out. At this point, I was like, Jesus Christ, I don't like 2021 anymore. <laughs> Bring back 2020. Um, yeah, after after much stress, <laughs> I, uh, I recovered the bandit because it was driving me mad. I drove the Tatrin back out, went and got two more cargo containers. Professionals ready to go. Now it's not even attaching the winch. It's like every way this game could possibly try and troll me today. We'll just ignore the fact that I then crashed over a crash barrier. I mean, that's what it's there for. Clue was in the name. I just took the initiative. Um, yeah, in the end, I just like sod it. I'm going up the uh, the normal way, the mountain pathway. Again, if I had a semi trailer, I'd quite happily use the uh, other route. I normally go that other route most often, but. This trailer just really isn't up to it. I think on my original playthrough, there's one or two of these trailers that are abandoned at some point along that uh, shortcut through the mountain. And uh, yeah, often I just end up taking a dolphin with a semi-trailer, which was a lot better. It'd be quite nice if there was a... I don't know for certain there isn't actually, but with the various trailer packs, if there was like a tow-along option like this that just wasn't this ramped flatbed, but it was more than like two slots or whatever. Like, maybe just a long version of the uh, 
Oh no, I think the two slot still has a sort of dolly axle type thing. Something that's got rigid axles anyway, preferably. I have to say though, by now, it's uh, this thing's it's quite a nice speed to motor along. It's certainly one big improvement, I think anyway. And even now it's kind of sitting in the uh, grooves of the road, so it's not being too trollish with the steering. But yeah, that was uh, that was my first little night. Anyway, like I said, well, 20, 2021 now. 2020 is finally gone. It's definitely been one of them years where so when people say that I've been to Vietnam, <laughs> like you weren't there. I think 2020 is definitely one of those years that in the future people say, oh, what was 2020 like? Just like you had to be there. <laughs> you have to witness how just generally insane 2020 was. I think a lot of people are pretty happy to see the back of it. <laughs> That's it, of course, assuming that 2021 is going to be uh, any better. I think by now, as long as it's just not a repeat of uh, 2020, that would be a good start. But, yeah, it's been certainly, in some ways, a good year, in some ways, a bad year. I'm not too sure if anybody made it through uh, 2020 completely unscathed. But, at the end of the day, you got to look on the bright side of life. 2020 was the year I found myself a goddamn horse of a vehicle. I think we can all be grateful for getting a goddamn professional. Plenty of good times have been had. Plenty more. Plenty more to come. Yeah, that's what she said. And uh, yeah, Phase 3 as well on its way pretty soon, which would be pretty cool to see logging back. I wonder what they're going to do with the cranes as well, because at the minute we're kind of... They're not really cranes as such, they're sort of a little winch point on the end, which is pretty handy for convenience sake. Um, but yeah, with the logs, I wonder if it's just going to stick a winch on each log, or if we're actually going to get like, sort of yeah, pincer arm crane things again. <laughs> you can tell I know all the technical words. I'm surprised at this point the bridge didn't just randomly freak out and kick the shit out of me because, oh, you can see, the loaf was there. <laughs> giving it a little slap of its own. Yeah, this was definitely the safer way to go. I really don't think I would have made it across that, uh, a shortcut, <laughs> in quotations, shortcut, shortcut that adds about an hour to your journey. It's actually not that bad to me. If I had to drive this with just a stock Tatran, it'd be a pretty, a pretty painful drive. But yeah, this thing's ticking along pretty nicely. And the good thing with stuff like this, not that it will stop me either way, but towing a horse of a vehicle behind me, it's not slowing this thing down at all motors along at the speed it is. I think as well they've switched the engine sounds for the uh, Colob, the big flat face one, or maybe both, I, I can't really remember I'd, I'd usually drive the flat face one more but yeah, it's uh, I certainly recognise that engine sound when it when you sort of let off the throttle give it a little blip and throttle it again, you'll, uh, yeah pretty meaty engine, whatever it is well, oh well, yeah, it's got no engines in it is it taking damage now <laughs> on a perfectly smooth road? Could have gone a lot worse. <laughs> I was tempted, like, should I just ride the gap? Don't think I'm like something she'd say, but I didn't want to risk it, not this close, otherwise I know I'd have to... Because this is my second playthrough, I've not got a lot of... Uh, yeah, fully upgraded stuff, so even like that Bandit was basically stock. I think it had a high range gearbox, but it had the stock engine stock suspension, just, yeah, not good. I mean, the Bandit hasn't been the most thrilling of trucks in the world. It was close, it could have been a good one, but they just seem to punish it too much with various other things. But yeah, now we've got these mods again. I mean, that Bandit I used was one of the first vehicles, like, non-modded, other than the, uh, the Loaf that I've used in a while. And, yeah, it's not not changed my mind. I was sticking to the, uh, the mods for quite a bit. But we made it here eventually, finally dropped them off. That box absolutely shit its pants. Oh uh, yeah, quick one with the turning circle. You can see it's way better. With the Tatra, I'd be amazed if I could even <laughs> do a U-turn in the whole yard, never mind that little section. And uh, yeah, that's about it for today. Found someone else. I'll be completing... I might end up just restarting a new playthrough. Because uh, even already on this second playthrough, there's quite a few missions that... Yeah, I've already cashed in and it's like, oh, I'd quite like to go and try that one again. 
Last but not leaf, go and winch the loaf. Winch him from the back. Gotta turn the loaf around, but there's no time to lose. A very specifically calculated manoeuvre this is. There's a flip to a handstand. He's winched from the front. The move of a goddamn professional. Uh, yeah, anyway, like I say, that's about it for today. Hope you've enjoyed. Happy New Year. Good luck with uh, 2021. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon.